In the previous episode, we added a way for our users to register and create accounts in our app. And we did all that in a single command. However, now it's time for us to start locking up certain parts of our application so that only logged in users have access to. This is a very common thing in websites as you of course will have restricted areas and you'll have public areas. Now to achieve being able to lock certain parts of our application, we need to introduce a brand new concept that we haven't touched up on before, and that is middleware. So what exactly is a middleware? Now, as the word suggests, a middleware stands in the middle. But you might say, well, in the middle of what? In very simple terms, a middleware stands in between the request and the response. And the way it does that is by executing certain code. Now, the code will either give it a green light or a red light. So if the middleware gives it a green light, it will execute certain code and move on to the next middleware. If it gives it a red light, everything stops and then we basically execute some fail safe code. In the case of authorization, typically if a user requests a page for which you need to be logged in for, what it does is it redirects you to the login page, basically assuming that you forgot to log in. And you're used to this sequence, right? So you request a page and all of a sudden you get the login page and you say, oh, my session must be expired. Let me log back in. And then you redirect it back to the original page that you requested. So that is a middleware in action. That's what it does. Your request arrives at the middleware that is handling authorization. And all of a sudden it realizes you're not logged in. So it says, wait a minute. Let's show him the login form so that way the user can log in and either proceed or not. Now, if it arrives there and you are logged in, it simply just keeps going. It does not redirect you to the login page. And that's exactly what the auth middleware does in Laravel. So let me show you where they are. Let's head back to PHP Storm, go into app, HTTP, and middleware. So this middleware directory is where all of the middlewares are stored. You can add as many middleware as you like, but the ones inside this directory right now is what Laravel ships with. So what do some of these do? For example, there's one here called check for maintenance mode, and we haven't really talked about it just yet, but since we've arrived here, I'm going to show you how to put your application in maintenance mode. Let me head to Chrome. I'm going to hit refresh. And of course our page is loading. Now, if we go to our terminal and we ran the command PHP artisan down, it puts our application in maintenance mode. And so let's see what the user would get. Refresh. So it says 503, service unavailable. This is what you would do to your application if you're running some upgrades or changing some code in production and you just don't want your users seeing you while you're maintaining your page. When you're ready to bring it back up, you will run PHP Artisan up. And now the application is live. And if we refresh, we get our application back. So that is handled through a middleware. What happens is that the request comes in, it checks if it's down for maintenance, and if it is, then it stops the request, and it actually just sends back a response of 503. So that's one of them. Let's look at another one. Here's one, redirect if authenticated. This is typical, right? If you are authenticated, then there's no reason for you to be redirected to the login page. Instead, you're redirected straight to home then that makes total sense. There's a couple of other middleware here, but the one that we are interested in is this authenticate. So this is the one that we need to tag on to our customers list to be able to control who has access to it. There are two ways that we could apply a middleware at this point. So the first one I'm going to show you is at the route level. So what you can do is you can lock up any route. So I know that I want to lock up my customer's route. So right after resource, I can tag on one method and say middleware. And we can say auth. Use the auth middleware. Okay, let's hit save. Let's go back to the browser. And now let's visit my customers list. So you can see my customers list, but that's because I am logged in. I'm going to log out. And then I'm going to visit my customers list again. So now this time I am redirected to the login page. 
I can still see contact and about and home, but as soon as I try to see my customers list, I no longer can see my customers list. Let me go ahead and log in. And now I can see my customers list. I can edit a customer. I can add a new customer. I can do everything that I could before, but that's because I'm logged in. The minute I log out again, it will not let you do that. As a matter of fact, even if I was to enter the address like create address, you're still redirected to login. What if I tried to edit one? Nope, you're still going back to the login page. So just like that, we've locked up the customers list and only registered and logged in users are allowed to see that page. So that's the first method. I'm gonna delete middleware and let's just make sure that everything's back to working. Customers list, yep. So now our customers are no longer locked up. They're open, you see I'm not logged in, but I can still see customers. So the second way that you can add a middleware is do it at the controller level. So let's do that one now. Let's go back to PHP Storm. I'm gonna close my routes file and let's check out the customer controller. So I can add a construct method up here and I can call this middleware and I can pass in the exact same thing, off. Hit save, come back, hit refresh, and now we no longer have access to our customers list. Now here's another nice little feature. If we added another method call right afterwards, you see that we have two methods available, only and accept. So we can actually do this by method names, right? So if we only wanna lock up, say the create method, but we still wanna allow edits, then you can do that. So what I'll actually do is I'm gonna say, I wanna lock everything up except my index. So I still want guests to be able to see my customers list, but if you try to create one or you try to delete one or edit one, for that, you do need to be logged in. All right, let's check it out. I'm gonna refresh. Notice how I am not logged in. So my customers list is visible. Now, if I tried to add a new customer, nope, you can't do that. Okay, back to customer list. What about view details? Nope, also can't do that. And certainly we cannot edit one and we cannot create one. So now we've been able to lock up everything but the index method. And if you need the inverse of this, you would use the only. So that's a nice way for you to be able to do things like comments, for example. Typically, comments are visible publicly. You wouldn't really want to lock up your comments, but you typically wouldn't want a guest to be able to add a comment. If they're going to add a comment to a section of your website, then they need to be logged in. And that makes sense. So this is sort of the same approach. We're gonna let guests view all of our customers, but of course you're not authorized to edit or create one unless you are signed in. In my particular case, I do wanna lock up that customers list altogether, so I will remove that and now everything is locked up. Back to customers list and says, nope, you gotta be signed in to be able to do that. So just like that, we can protect an entire controller or an entire route or we can choose which parts of a controller we want to lock up unless you're logged in. So those are the basics of middleware and authorization in Laravel 5.8.